Oh my gosh, I just barely realized this right before I pressed the record button. Today is our two year channel anniversary. So, to all of you for all of your wonderful comments and your wonderful emails and all of the encouragement, this would, I would have nothing to do without you. So, thank you so very, very much. And today, we are doing Don't Follow by Alice in Chains for Gage Ruse, Pat Prime, Heavy Mist, Matt De La Hunt, Dev Trout, Savio Lopez, and Joshua. Slocum. Lots of very familiar names there, so this should be a good one. All right, this is a surprisingly simple song, an S cubed, and speaking of flies, jar of flies, I would have loved to be a fly on the wall the moment Alice and Chain sat down together and decided to play all of their songs detuned, because this one is too, which means that all of our strings are one half step or one note lower than uh, normal. So we have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat, if you don't know how to detune your guitar, I will put the link to the how to detune your guitar video. Great, we'll all wait while you do that. Okay, so now that you've done that, grab a D chord and you're gonna play. The, the chords in this song are simple. The plucking's a little tricky, so that might be a learning moment for you. Great, all right. D, B, G, D, E, B, G, B. That's eight notes. Each chord has eight notes, or eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... Great, now we're gonna play D with an F sharp in the bass, a la Better Man, but we're not gonna play it the Better Man way because we wanna keep this high F sharp, so we're gonna use our thumb instead. And this is not that tricky. Um, I'm not an avid thumb user. For, for bass notes, you know, with the mic stuff, with the... But, this is pretty easy while you're doing the D chord, so give it a shot, don't give up. Okay, now we're gonna pluck low E, B, G, D, E, B, G, D. So you notice it's exactly the same, except for instead of the first D, it's the low E. And now we have all together, switch to G and do the same plucking pattern that we just did with the D with the F sharp in the bass, but we're going to leave our pinky finger off. Isn't that pretty? Now here's a move that's going to make you feel sexy. Grab an A chord with one finger. Don't do it this way. Do it this way because we're going to put your ring finger on the B string third fret, which is where it just was when you were playing the G, right? So that's nice of Alice in Chains, and you're going to strum it, and then do a pull off from the B string 3rd fret to the B string 2nd fret, and then pluck G, D, A, B, G, D. So that's our 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 8 notes. And that's 75% of the song. same time. One more time, no, to no talking, no thinking. Great, that's the whole entire song up until the don't follow part, the chorus, right? Uh, and we're gonna go from the A to G, regular old G, with both fingers down. E string third fret, A string second fret, B string third fret, baby E string third fret. And we're gonna go E, B, G, D, high E, B, G, B. Twice. That B might be a D. No, I don't think so. It's a B. And then we're going to 
I switched to A, that was twice, 16 notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then A, this plucking pattern is totally different. We're gonna go A, B, G, D, A, B, G, D. That was eight. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that's the chorus. That takes you all the way up until the, right before the the outro bit, which is actually very long, uh, and they just play a D, and then they go into the strumming, which is just A, D. You can strum it however you like. I'm strumming all the eighth notes. One and two and. strumming pattern here. Down, down, up, up, down. By the way, the harmonica, right? It's a harmonica, right? Uh, sounds pretty different and, and, and bluesy and, and funky in this song. And if anyone would like, a d I know we were talking about with a couple of people um, playing with two guitars for songs. This would be a great one where if you don't know a harmonica player, I don't uh, if, if you don't know one, but you want to play a duet with the guitar, this would be a great one. So does anyone want a dissertation on how one would do the harmonica bit on the guitar for this song? Please let me know, and we'll do it, like, next, because it's, like, right on the tip of my brain right now. All right, yeah, and that's it. So that's the outro. A. D. For, like, two minutes. Spare you. And then of course the very, very, very outro is the And that's it. Don't follow by Alice in Chains. Acoustic, detuned, uh, plucking, fresh fruit, fun for the whole family. Thank you so much for being here. For the past was 365 times 2. 730 days. It's been really spectacular and it will continue to be spectacular because you're awesome. We're awesome. I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.